10 Tampa Bay meteorologist Colleen Campbell joins us now. And Colleen, you're keeping an eye on the tropics tonight. That's right. So we have this area, this tropical wave here, looking a little bit healthier today, meaning it's starting to get its act together. But there's still stable enough air in our atmosphere where we probably won't see development within the next 48 hours. That chance is low. It's at 20%. But if you look at the next week, the odds are higher. We have a 70% shot of seeing this develop into at least a tropical depression by the end of next week. Now, the good news here is that although it is early on, we have to get some circulation to see where the system really wants to go. But right now, early signs are pointing to this taking that recurve that many of the tropical systems have done so far this year. If that happens, I don't think any of us will complain. Of course, we do want to keep an eye out for our friends over by the islands. But again, we have to get some circulation on this thing before we really start to hone in on the tracking. All you need to know right now is that there's stable air in the atmosphere. Plus, over in the Gulf, we actually have wind shear that's keeping the Gulf shut down. So that means we don't have any activity expected closer to home. Satellite and radar here, we have those winds coming in from the east northeast. That's been allowing just enough from the Atlantic to pull on over that moisture. They had heavier rain out there on the east coast today, but in our part, we had just enough moisture splashing over from the Atlantic to drive a few showers into our area, especially when we had our west coast sea breeze that was going as well. So when those two sea breeze collide, that's when we usually see those rain showers pop up. And we're still seeing a little bit of rain out there, just a touch. Uh, around Manatee County, Sarasota County, Hardy County. Hardy County seeing some lighter rain. Uh, you see a cell that's moving into Manatee County right now from Sarasota, trying to move north there, producing a little bit of lightning, believe it or not. But that's pretty much all we have. Yeah, we have some spits and sprinkles over in Polk County, as well as Hillsborough County, Hernando County, Pasco County. These are all areas that saw rain for today, but it has been very limited. So that's basically what we're working with right now, 1130 at night, almost 1130. As we look at how much moisture we have to work with in the atmosphere, so basically think of this if you're wringing out a wet towel, right? When we have all this brown here, that's not a lot of moisture from the surface all the way up aloft, right? And the reason for that is we have this area low pressure that's off to the Atlantic. It's weak, but what it's doing is the way that it's spinning around here, it's actually pulling in drier air to our area, and that's keeping us nice and dry. Those dew points down as well as we move into this week. Now, this does not reflect humidity. It's just telling you how much moisture we have to work with for showers. So we can get a shower, but the probability of that 20% or less. Basically what we had for today, just showed you Monday morning, nothing going on there. At all throughout the afternoon, again, with that breeze, we may have a little bit of brief rainy activity, maybe an isolated storm like we're seeing down in Manatee County right now, but it would be isolated. Everyone else pretty much sitting dry. How much rain could we get over the next three days? Not much. Traceable amounts, less than a tenth of an inch. So that's basically the weather story. Plus, we have lower dew points on the way. You probably feel it outside right now. It feels fantastic, right? In the mornings, too. In the afternoon, it's warmer because we have the sunshine to work against. Temperature is near normal for this week. It's the humidity that helps us out in the morning and at night. Hey, the bucks are back on Sunday. Hopefully, we can keep that rain chance around 30%.